and now let's see the approach to the renal disorder first we see the parameter in this parameter first parameter is cortico medullary differentiation on us the second one is a side of kidney third one is a cast fourth one is compare urine osmolarity and plasma osmolarity fifth one is anemia and sixth one is metabolic bone disease now in this acute kidney injury and in this the chronic kidney injury in cortico medullary differentiation it is either normal or preserved in this normal or loss of cortico medullary differentiation now we see the size of the kidney size of the kidney is either it is normal or either it is enlarged in this either it is normal or it is shrunken less than 7 cm and in this more than 11 cm now we see the cast in this cast we see the high line cast and in chronic kidney disease we see broad or waxy cast now urine osmolarity urine osmolarity depending upon the cause or in the acute kidney injury in pre renal cause and renal cause in pre renal cause there is a concentrated urine are seen in the renal cause there is a diluted urine is seen and in the chronic kidney disease there is a both are equal urine osmolarity is equal to plasma osmolarity and then anemia is not seen and metabolic acidosis is not seen anemia is common and metabolic bone disease is present now this is the, the approach to the renal disorder based on the symptoms we identify the acute kidney injury and chronic kidney injury now let's see the kcog guidelines kd og guidelines for diagnosis acute kidney injury there is the three stage uh first one is serum creatinine level so in the first stage serum creatinine increase one for five time from baseline in the second stage it increase 2 to 2.5 times from baseline and in the third stage there is a increase more than 3 times of serum creatinine from baseline and now we look for the second parameter urine output in urine output there is less than 
एम एल पर के जी पर आवर फोर सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व आवर सो यूरिन आउटपुट इज लेस देन पॉइंट फाइव पर एम एल पर के जी पर आवर फोर फर्स्ट सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व आवर्स इन द सेकेंड स्टेज लेस देन पॉइंट फाइव एम एल पर के जी पर आवर फोर मोर देन ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड इन द थर्ड स्टेज ए नूरिया फोर मोर देन ट्वेल्व आवर्स और लेस देन पॉइंट थ्री एम एल पर के जी पर आवर फोर मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर सो देर इज अ स्टेजिंग फॉर एक्यूट किडनी इंजरी नाउ कॉज फॉर एक्यूट किडनी इंजरी If we see the cause, there are three causes mainly: pre-renal, renal, and post-renal. Post-renal is one to five percent. Renal is ten to fifteen percent, and pre-renal is the most common, which is seen in the eighty-five percent of the cases. The details are covered in the other video. of all the three causes now let's see the ckd chronic kidney disease now in the chronic kidney disease first we see the definition in the definition there is gradual decrease in gfr for more than or equal to 3 month or and there is a documented increase in serum creatinine or presence of one or more of specific features which above which discuss above this is the specific feature there is a loss of corticomedullary differentiation shrunken kidney and then metabolic bone disease are present and broad na vague cast so this four is specific for the chronic kidney disease now we see the grading for chronic kidney disease and there is a five grade grade 1 2 3 4 in grade 1 gfr this grading is based on the gfr so in the grade 1 there is more than 90 ml per minute in the second stage there is 60 to 89 In the grade three, there is a thirty to fifty nine. It is a subdivided into the two three A and three B. In the three A, forty five to fifty nine and thirty to forty four ml per minute, and this is also ml per minute. And there is a grade four. In the grade four, fifteen to Twenty nine ml per minute, and there is a grade five. Grade five. This is a end stage renal disease. And less than fifteen ml per minute. So this is the grading of chronic kidney disease based on the GFR. And second. 
based on albumin so there is a grade 1 a1 a2 and a3 in a1 less than 30 30 to 300 and more than 300 milligram per gram so there are two grading system of chronic kidney disease now we see the cause for chronic kidney disease there are the two cause inherited cause and second one is acquired cause in inherited cause there is alport syndrome second one is adult polycystic kidney disease and in this acquired cause there is a diabetes mellitus and second one is nephropathy all these cause are renal in acute kidney engineering there is a pre renal renal and a post renal but in the chronic kidney disease all the cause are renal cause so this is a approach to the renal disorder so based on this parameter we can differentiate the acute kidney injury and a chronic kidney injury now there is a definition and there is a grading of acute kidney injury and a chronic kidney injury and what are the causes and the treatment is the renal replacement therapy and dialysis